Hey guys, I found this magical box of amazing questions in my drawer today. I thought, you know what? Let's just try this for um, a general message. If it's your message, great. If it's your not, not your message, great. Like, okay. So <laughs> like, I can't help you then. How they feel about love. How does your person feel about love? Hmm, how do they feel about love? Spirit, please help me channel a message for the viewer that clicked on this video. Direction, guardian, choose your path. How do they feel about love? Oh my God, I heard Starkeeper. I don't know why I heard Starkeeper, but then Peacekeeper came out. Let go of the need to be right. Hmm. How does this person? Mirror guardian, take time to reflect. And look at these stars here. Star keeper. Oh my God. What is this? Guys, I'm getting like past life shit here. Okay. She looks like a gypsy nomad to me. She looks like she was doing this in a past life too. I don't know. There's some about divination here. I'm getting high priestess energy. Really, I'm getting gypsy hippie thing. I love it. I love this so much. This card is so gorgeous. Whoever you are, you're a star keeper or you're like a, I, like a guardian to the stars, a guardian of the stars. I really am intuitively feeling that the person that you're inquiring about has to release the need to be right about opposing you because they actually are learning and discovering that you hold the stars. Like, like I, I kind of feel you're a high priestess guiding and leading other star seeds, empaths, high priestesses as well. Uh, very much a shaman, like a healer healing healers. And, and this person cannot argue that anymore. You have direction guardian and mirror guardian. I'm actually also intuitively feeling that the mirror, the way that this mirror is facing this direction guardian, it's like you are showing this person which direction to take. It's like this mirror you're holding up and you're saying, okay, go this way. No, 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 that's bad. Go this way. Go this way instead. Yes, this way, this way. It's like you right now might be even instructing your person indirectly. You might not even know you're doing this, but you as a priestess, you are guiding this person to make better choices. And I, what I'm hearing is, your advice is always right. The guidance is always right. This is why they have to surrender ego. They're surrendering the need to be right because they're realizing without you, they don't really have a compass. Yeah, I just heard, well, they have a compass. They just don't have a mag magnet, a magnet, a m whatever, a pull. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a magnetic pull. Oh my God. Why is that so difficult? That's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like brain fog over here, brain fog over here for your person. Without you, this person would be a freaking wreck. Okay. A train wreck at this point. I'm, I'm really getting some vibes here. This peacekeeper She's got this like mallet in her hand here, this ax. It's not even an ax. I don't know what this is really. It's a mallet or something. It's like the buffalo behind her is, is representing her spirit guides that are guiding this person for her. All she needs to do is speak it out loud. How do they feel about love? Well, until they, until they met you, To be honest, I don't know if they knew that divine love was real, that it could be real in the 3D. That's exactly what you're teaching this person is love in the 3D is very real. But that you have to stay free. You have to stay unattached to things like this gypsy hippie nomad here. I love this, this card. You're, you're teaching your whole collective because I feel like I'm reading for a reader right now or a healer, a shaman. You're actually teach, teaching your person indirectly. They might not even be watching your content. I don't know, but, but their higher self 
is hearing all of it. Plus, what I'm hearing is, if you ever bring your person to mind while you're doing a reading, or you could swear that that pile is your pile, that person's higher self is there with you. They're hearing you say those things to them. Okay, for direction and comfort, I heard. So yeah, they are certainly starting to believe that a 3D kind of love is possible that could transcend the 3D as well. It's here in the 3D, but it transcends that. It, it, they're starting to understand that maybe just maybe um, you're more right than they once gave you credit for. Let's see. Maybe something happened to them to get them to think this way. Let's see. Spirit, can you tell me some more, please? Thank you for the messages. How, what happened recently to this divine guardian here? Actually, what, what happened to this guy? Fear. Ooh, honey. His fear had him trapped in something and you got him out. You got him out of this fear. What was the fear about? I'm noticing she's in yellow, which is telling me a solar plexus issue. They did something out of comfortability. Instead of courage, they chose something out of fear and shame and guilt. Like they didn't want to leave something behind, so they did it out of curiosity. But you know what happens to cats when you use curiosity. I don't know. I, I just don't know if I'm allowed to say the word kill. So I, there it goes. Curiosity killed the cat. This person really was doing something out of like a fear of what? Assessing. Yeah, what I'm hearing is it's analysis paralysis. They overthought something. They got trapped in some cyclical loop. And that's when they had to start scouting you out. That's when they had to start finding you again. That's what they're doing now. They are looking over towards you. In the stars. The star keeper. Right? You might be an astrologer. Maybe you're into, you know, you could be. But they're looking over at you to see what it is that you're teaching. What are you teaching right now? What are you talking about? What are you teaching? What are you trying to predict for the collective? Whatever you are as a high priestess, you are really instructing this person, even though they're worlds apart. These two people are just, I feel so um, distant, physically distant, perhaps even emotionally distant right now. But they are still seeing this. So this intense fear that they had which was subduing them. It, whatever it was, it was really doing them in. And they had no choice but to start believing that you know your shit because somehow you got out of the same trap that they had convinced themselves was doomed and no one could get out of. You got out of it. What was this? Darkness. There it is, guys. You got out of the motherfucking pits of hell. You got out of hell. You basically made darkness your bitch. And this person is now wondering, like, okay, if you were able to do that, then maybe it's possible it can happen to me too. What is this about, though? The darkness of what? I'm hearing long night. The, the dark night of the soul. Patience. Yeah, you went through some portal. I'm, t I'm definitely with stars. I don't know why, but I'm getting a lot of stars here. You found your way out. It still doesn't tell me what it's about exactly, but you were so patient with it. It's like it could have taken you nine years, nine or ten years. It took you so long. Not only are your viewers or your clients or, you know, your friends so impressed by you, but you're literally saving this person's life. Helping them choose their next path pleasure. And I really, look at this another nine here. One plus eight is nine. Three plus six is nine. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. I really feel like you're saying, and this is my pleasure. I love doing it. I love doing it. I love healing people. I love taking people out of the dark night of soul. Like whoever you are, you have, this is fun for you now. This is literally you offering your services to, to humanity, to mankind. 
and it's your pleasure. It is like literally you're, you're having a good time doing it. And you've been doing this in past lives as well. You, you just always do this. You transcend, you rise above it, and then you teach other people how to, how to get out of this. Wow. How does this person feel about love? Like, to be honest, they think that love now is directional. They think love would guide them to peace. And they'd never seen anyone want to try to do that before. If anything, they only ever saw people that wanted to keep them in a state of chaos. They never learned that peace was possible. Let's get some tarot here. What are they thinking about love now? How does this direction guardian feel about the mirror guardian here? I heard respect. Respect. Ooh, strength, honey. That's what I'm talking about. Fucking respect. Like you are the strongest person this person's ever met in their life. Queen of pentacles. And that you deserve whatever abundance you have coming in for you because this person sees that in the world of duality, in the world of, you know, the 3D materiality, you're probably getting paid to help people. The queen of pentacles is a nurturer. She's a guide. She's an earth angel. That's exactly what this person sees, that you're an earth angel and you deserve to be compensated for this. This person, whoever we're talking about, your, your significant other, your, your divine counterpart, they really think that you should be getting paid bank for what you do. You are a healer, a transmuter a guide, a shaman, that you should be getting paid. They, they respect the shit out of you. Tell me about the mirror guardian. What does the mirror guardian think that this direction guardian is doing at this time? Four of pentacles. I heard holding on for dear life. Holding on for dear life. And it's to what? To God. To themselves, the high priest within them. You think that they are now holding on for dear life because they have already experienced the fall without you. And now they know their ass is grass if they don't hold on to a higher power. That higher power being the one that is instructing you. B connecting you both, you're the peacekeeper. This is spirit. This person's holding on for dear life to their faith. And that's what you know as the mirror guardian. You know it to be true, that they are like one move away from falling into a pit. And, and, and that's why you find pleasure in, in showing them the way of the stars. That's why I heard the way of the stars. Wow, guys, the way of the stars. What's that mean, spirit? The way of the stars. Ten of pentacles. Ooh, seven of swords. One more. Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. I saw the Pentacles as the star because look, I mean, it, it is a star. So I'm seeing these stars here. The way of the stars. That's what you're showing them. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so esoteric. I fucking love this reading. I really do. I'm gonna start reading cards like, like I think like this for a while. I love it. That's actually what I'm getting for this high priestess here. So about you has changed. What you're doing is you're publicly exploiting, not in a bad way, you're, you're basically showing the world the faults of those exploiting others. Because here this high priestess is back here. You see her with her little, um, you know, her little, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that thing's called. Um, turban or something. But uh, it's like you're, you're, you're personally showcasing success by exposing the darkness for not only your clients and your viewers, but really your divine counterpart. And this is the stars that I was talking about. So you're like the keeper of the stars. You're, you're literally helping spirit keep all this stuff private, right? It's like you're speaking in parable. You're speaking in esotericism now, like you're speaking in, in just a beautiful dialect that only enlightened chosen ones can understand now is what it feels like. And I feel like in the past, you might have faced a lot of scrutiny about that and people that were not, they were, they were upset about it because it seems so exclusive. 
It is exclusive. It should be. That's why Jesus spoke in parables. It's not for everybody to understand. So you're making it very clear to this direction guardian that their direction needs to go a certain way. Because you've already gotten out of hell. You already broke the matrix. And now you are publicly doing the same for them by calling out these really devilish energies, the people who are lying and backstabbing. To whom? The star seeds of the planet. Earth angels. Those here that have also been planted in the darkness that need to get out. So not only are you helping these people, but you are helping your divine counterpart do the exact same thing. Last message, please, Spirit, for this beautiful message. Wow. Wow. Guys, I feel like I got transported to a different place and time. It's only been 16 minutes, and I feel like I was here for like five hours. Is that the, That's like the weirdest thing, isn't it? Your, your person loses time with you, man. It's like time is just an illusion anyway. We all know this. Like we know. We know the gist. But um, but yeah, it's something about like time. Like you just, this person's losing time when they don't choose the light. And, and you're just helping them navigate by the stars. You're even maybe an astrologist. Either way, you're helping them see through the, the muck. Wow, so beautiful. One last card, please. Oh, do we have any advice for this beautiful viewer of mine? Judgment. I just keep hearing esotericism. I keep hearing, do what you love and love what you do, guys. What you are doing is God's work, and I feel like you're about to be compensated for that very soon if you're not already being that way. Um, just keep going. You're literally blowing the trumpet for this divine counterpart to get their shit together. Like, you are doing God's work is what I'm seeing here, okay? The star. And for other star seeds too, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I love it so much. Your whole soul family loves you. Everybody freaking loves you. They need what you're doing. You're a high priestess working for the light. And it's just, ugh, I freaking love this reading so much, guys. I will talk to you later. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.